Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radicad. In this video, I want to talk about what are the fields that you need to hide in Power BI. Previous videos, I talked about how you can hide multiple fields. But in this video, we are going to talk about what are the fields that are good candidate to be hidden inside your Power BI model so that you have a better model as a result. Let's go and check it out. Hiding fields in Power BI is a really good way to make your model look cleaner. Normally when we have uh, a lot of fields within Power BI model, a report visualizer or a self-service uh, report uh, users, they will get confused with a lot of fields. You have the same field across multiple tables, which one is the right field to use. Uh, or some of the fields that they don't really need to use, but they can still see it. This will make the model really complicated. So uh, here is some of the fields that you can hide in your model that helps to have a better modeling experience. I'll switch to my laptop screen. Here you see a Power BI model that I have. Now, before talking about this, um, the fields that you have uh, better to be hidden, I'm going to talk about the fields that is, um, that is not a good candidate to be hidden. So here I have a Power BI model with a few tables. Uh, let's assume that, for example, in the customer table, um, the fields of phone number that you can see right here, uh, is not a really good field to be hidden. I'll enable my zooming tool so that you can see it also better. Okay. So here it is. You see, for example, the phone number that I have here. This is a field, let's assume, in my analytics, I don't really use this field anywhere. There is no use for that. So if we have a field like this, then um, instead of coming here and hiding it, instead of going through that hide process, what we do is that we'll go and remove it before bringing it into Power BI. That is much better because if you have the field and hide it, this field, this column still consumes space. Power BI is an in-memory technology. Any data that you load into Power BI will consume memory. So you have to try to reduce the amount of memory consumed uh, in all ways possible. One of the ways is that any fields that you don't really use it, don't bring it into Power BI. You can remove it in Power Query. And as a result, you will not have that field in Power BI. So that is the fields that you never uh, hide. You just remove them before loading into Power BI. Now let's talk about what are the scenarios that you would go and hide a field in Power BI. There are uh, certain scenarios. For example, one of the scenarios is if a field has been used in a relationship. In the model view here, you can see that I have some of the fields used in the relationship. Here, for example, I have uh, the customer key, which is the column used to connect this table and also this table using the relationship. When I click on that relationship line, you can actually see that. This field is used for the relationship. We need it because otherwise the two tables cannot talk with each other, but we are never going to use this field in the visualization. So there is no use for our users to get to know this field. So this is a good field to be hidden. And of course you can hide it manually here, there, uh, one by one, or using the approach I mentioned in the other video, you can go and search for customer key in the model tab, customer key, and find all the fields, select them uh, using the control key, and then make them is hidden, right? So that is one of the scenarios. All the key columns that you use within the relationships, hide them. The other situation is that if you have used a field in a DAX expression, in a DAX calculation, but you are never going to use that field directly in a visualization, that is also a good candidate to be hidden. Uh, another example of this is the calculation that I have here, which is for sales year to date. So this sales year to date calculation, as you can see here, is using calculate sales amount. I'm going to visualize sales amount in my visualization, but this is based on dates YTD function of full date alternate key. 
Full date alternate key is a full date field. I'm never going to use full date field in my visualizations, let's assume in my scenario, because I have year, I have a month, quarter, day separately, I have them even in a hierarchy. So I'm never really going to use this field just by itself. This is a good field to be hidden in. Uh, and similar to that way, I can go and find that, um, that date field in this case in dim date, which is full date alternate key, and hide it. Uh, of course, if you are using that field in your visualization, then don't hide it. So these are two fields so far, one used in the relationship, the other one used in DAX expression that you never used uh, in a visualization. The third one is a field that you have used to sort another column. And I have a video explaining that too as well. I explained that you can have a column sorting another column. In my scenario, I have English month name, which is just the text name of the month. This field itself um, is now sorted by English, by, by month number of year. And this sort by column is a really useful feature that we use whenever we want to field, sort one field based on the other field. Uh, go and check out the other video to learn the details about that. So when we do this, normally the fields that we used to sort this field, that numeric field, we, we are not really going to use that directly in a visualization. We use the sorted one. So this is also a good candidate to be hidden. I can go to this field, month, number of year, and hide it as well. So fields used in the sort relation, sort another column. And another scenario is if you have a hierarchy. So this is the fourth scenario. If you have a hierarchy here, you see I have a hierarchy of calendar, uh, which I have created custom hierarchy, year, semester, quarter, month, and day. These fields are also available individually here, as you can see them. When we have them in the hierarchy, normally we don't need them individually because we can just drag and drop the hierarchy and remove all other fields that we don't want, right? So these are also good candidate to be hidden and similar to the previous method, you can go and find your, in this case, these are all under my dim date. I can go and find all of these separately um, and the number of months and hide them together. So four types of fields are really good candidates to be hidden. Uh, fields used in the relationships, fields used in DAX, which you are not using them in the visualization, fields used to sort another columns, and fields used in hierarchy, if you are not using um, them individually in a lot of scenarios. Um, these are good candidates to be hidden, but always remember that there are fields that you have to remove before loading into Power BI so that you have a better performance. I hope this video helped you to understand what are good fields to be hidden. As a result, you have a better and cleaner data model. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on Power BI and Microsoft Fabric. Until the next video, bye.